Hello and welcome to this video. On this video, I'm going to be recovering the B pillars on my 1995 Mercedes. It's a uh, Type 140 chassis. It's an S320 and the interior is Orion Gray. I did an extensive search on the internet and I finally found one place that sells Orion Gray upholstery for Mercedes. So I ordered it and it's called Perfect Fit Industries or Perfect Fit. You can go on, the, uh, on Google and you can find them that way. So what I've done is I ordered some material and also I ordered on Amazon some 3M headliner and fabric adhesive. This is supposed to be good for the high temperatures seen in cars. So I went ahead and ordered a can of that. It's pretty expensive. And having said all that, next thing we'll do is go ahead and pull off the B pillars. But first I'm gonna open this package up and we'll come back and take a look at the material. Okay, I've opened the material up and I'm um, using my seat reupholstery kit or die kit as a guide. It looks to me like it's a really, really close color to the original color of the interior. So that's good. I think I've come up with a good match. So next thing I'm going to do is pull the B pillars and peel them off and recover them. So I'll be getting started on that in just a short while. Okay, I'm going to remove the B pillar now and I apologize for the dark pictures, but we can't get any kind of illumination here inside the body. We're just in too tight of a squeeze. But what you do is below the B pillar, there's two screws that hold a plastic panel in place. You want to pull those loose and set them aside. And then you're going to pull the B pillar down and at the top there's a hook and you'll unhook that and pull the B pillar out. And then you have to disconnect the seat belt from the seat in order to get the B pillar completely out of the car. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then once we have the B pillar out, we'll show you what it looks like. It took me about an hour to get the B pillar off. I wanted to explain how to do it because everything online doesn't really give a good, clear explanation. The first thing is you're going to take the two screws out of this plate here and here. Now the plate's not going to come off. All it is is going to loosen up a little bit. And I didn't know this, but I'll show you on the other side. It's got a molded in piece here and there's a bracket on the inside that sticks into that molded in piece and holds it steady. So you're not going to be able to get it out by trying to pull this off or anything else. So what you have to do is pull it down and as you pull it down, you'll get enough room here that you can pull the B pillar out of this lip. This lip doesn't have a whole lot of hold into it. So you just pull it down, try to push the B pillar up, pull it out from under this lip. Once you've got that done, this piece just stays in the car for that moment and you'll pull the B pillar straight out. I'll show you that a little bit more about that in just a second. And once you have the B pillar out, you can go ahead and take this piece off and that way you can go ahead and clean it up and get it ready to put back in. So in just a second, I'm going to show you the B pillar. Okay, I've gotten the B pillar out and it's sitting here and the material was peeling off. It had shrank over time and the owners, the previous owners had paid 2000 bucks from what we read in the service records to have somebody reupholster this. Unfortunately, they cheated and never did. You can see this is the original upholstery, never been reupholstered. All they did was try to stretch it and glue it. And that was just a temporary fix. As soon as it got hot, because the material has already shrunken, it just shrank up and it started peeling all on the sides and sticking up and looking ugly. So we're going to recover it with this Orion Gray upholstery I've purchased. It's a pretty close match. Not quite the same texture and stuff, but I can't get these European items over here in the USA. So what I wanted to do now, though, was explain to you how I got the B pillar off. So I'm going to flip it over. And you can see it just has these little tabs. First of all, it holds it at the bottom. And then up at the top, there's a metal tab that sticks in up at the top. And when you pull this whole thing downward, the whole B pillar downward, it should just disconnect and come loose pretty easily. So what we're going to do is strip all this old upholstery off, get the new pieces made, and we'll show you how to glue them on. Okay, I'm almost ready to start gluing this material down. So what I've done is I prepared the old B pillar. I pulled off the old vinyl and removed all the glue. That took a few hours. I've taped it on the sides because all I'm going to do is glue the top part first. I have to use the spray adhesive. So I'm going to put down some masking material underneath these things and use the spray adhesive. 
and I made a template for the vinyl as well. So all I do is get glue on the parts that are actually going to be stuck down. That way I can hopefully work with this material um, a lot easier without having it get stuck on something and then I can't do anything with it. So having said that, I'm going to go ahead and apply the glue. And once I get all this stuck down, I'll come back and we'll see how it came out on that part. I finished covering the uh, B pillar for the driver's side and um, I didn't show each step as I was going to because it was actually rather complicated to do. What we did first was glued on the uh, plastic side this area and up at the top we masked it off and then we glued similarly on the material itself and then we put it down and rolled it on with a roller and then we did the sides within an hour. Um, a few spots there's a couple little bubbles that we couldn't get rid of and even though we used almost a whole can of glue it's I'm not sure if it's too much glue or not enough glue but we did get it covered it came out mostly pretty pretty good um, as you can see it looks it goes all the way around now so this isn't peeled off and hopefully it won't peel off in the car so I've got it reassembled now and I'm ready to go ahead and install it on the car and we'll see how it comes out at that point and then all these things here on the uh, where the seat belt part slides I glued those with um, room temperature vulcanized material or RTV silicon um, I folded them down and put clothespins all along them until they cured so hopefully that all will be good and then some of the spots like up here near the top were exceedingly difficult to cover so I think I've gotten it done and we're ready to install it now all right, so here's the B-pillar on the driver's side after we finished installing it. I like the way it came out. It certainly, to me, looks a lot better than the way it did with all the peeling vinyl. And so now we're going to go work on the passenger side. It's pretty much all there is to this video. I just say that at the very top, if you take the clip that's left behind out of the metal pillar up there and transfer it over to the plastic pillar, then you'll be able to just start from the bottom, put the bottom into the plastic piece first, and then work your way up and it'll snap right into place really really easy once you know that secret so thank you for watching <laughs> <laughs>